Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to see the topic of default order settings in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. So if you are watching my video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankaran and I have been posting articles, documents and user manuals and product related demo videos of Microsoft Dynamics 365. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile, either LinkedIn or YouTube. So let's get into this video. So there is an important setting which is available in release product, uh, which is default order setting. First of all, let's select a specific item. Uh, let's say we are selecting this item D001. So every time when we rise a purchase order or sales order or inventory transfer orders, we need to define certain criteria based on which the order quantities can be entered in the system. So that's what we are going to see how we can accomplish those scenarios using the default order settings. So in the action plane under plan, you have an option called default order settings. Click on default order settings and uh, and then uh, you need to know that these default order settings are applicable for purchase orders, inventory transfers or for your sales orders. So every time whenever you rise a sales order based on the based on the barrow site or the order settings whatever you have given here system will generate accordingly the sales orders and the purchase orders so for the purpose of this video we will quickly see how to effectively use this uh, default order settings right so you can select the site and the barrows if required barrows also you can select from the drop down um, let's say i'm selecting the barrows 11 and you can define the default order settings for the purchase quantity so let's say i whenever i do a purchase order i want to rise the purchase order in multiples of 10 for this item d0001 only in multiples of 10 uh, maybe that is the box quantity which i have and uh, my vendor has given me a minimum order quantity of 100 so anything any purchase order which has raised less than the minimum order quantity he will not process it so I want the system to throw a prompt saying that uh, because none of these are going to throw an error message, they will simply throw a prompt. Maybe we will quickly see this in a couple of minutes. And uh, maximum order quantity, let's say I want to keep the maximum order quantity should be 1000 and I don't want my purchase executives to rise a purchase order for the item D001 more than 1000 quantity. right? And standard order quantity basically defines what is the standard quantity every time when you add this item. By default, I want the system to populate 130, 130 as the standard order quantity in the purchase order lines. So, so let's say this is the default order settings which I want to have. Every time when I rise this item number in the purchase order, it should be in multiples of 10 with a minimum quantity of 100. Maximum allowed order quantity is 1000. And every time when I add, add the item by default, 130 should be the quantity should be displayed. And also if you want, you can add the lead time and if you enable the working days, um, based on the working days calendar system will calculate the lead time and uh, populate the delivery date. And uh, if it is stopped for purchase, then you will you will get a notification that uh, this item is on hold for uh, doing the purchase transactions. We also see another video uh, which we published a couple of weeks before where we where we saw how to uh, stop the transactions for the sales order, but we continue to do the purchase transactions for the same item. Maybe you can check out the same, which is available in both in my LinkedIn page and also in YouTube page. Okay, so now we have given this setting. I'll quickly create a purchase order. I'll duplicate this tab. Um, so because this is a straightforward scenario, uh, we will see how it is affecting the purchase order line level quantities. Right. So now I'll go to purchase order and then uh, I'll create a purchase order I'll click on new and then uh, I'll select a vendor account. So I'm not getting into the details. That's not our intention of this video. We'll see how these default order settings affect our order quantity in purchase order lines. So Varos is 11. And then, uh, then I'll hit the OK button. Um, so a purchase order is created. Now I'll paste the same item. You can see currently the quantity is, is blank. So moment when I enter the item number and hit the tab, you can see the order quantity by default it is captured as the standard order quantity which we have actually defined in our uh, in our settings 130 so this is the standard order quantity which actually automatically populates right so now let's say if i change it to 90 we have given the minimum order quantity as 100 now if i change to 90 system will throw a prompt saying that your minimum allowed quantity is 100 do you want to use 100 instead 
so purchase executive will be very cautious in order of change you know whenever he or she changes the quantity let's say uh, have, we have given the maximum allowed quantity as thousand right maximum order quantity is thousand so if someone unknowingly updates a quantity as thousand one the system will throw a prompt saying the maximum allowed quantity is thousand do you want to use thousand instead so it basically rounds off to the nearest multiplied value so if i put 1006 it will ask us to update whether you want to update it to 1010 or not so it takes the nearest value so let's say i update it to 1006 then uh, okay then still it's asking us the thousand instead let's say let's check out for thousand and nine okay still it is going for the lowest value i think so let's try with thousand and eleven then then it should ask for 1010 so it primarily takes picks the lowest value uh, okay it is because maximum allowed quantity is 1000 we are getting that error right 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 i now i got it so maximum allowed quantity is 1000 we are exceeding the maximum allowed quantity so that is the error we are getting it but otherwise let's say if i put the quantity as because we have also given the multiply multiple of 10 right so if i give the quantity as 554 you see so it is trying to round off to the highest quantity 560 um, so if i click on no i will continue to go with 554 but let's say if i give 551 okay so it tries to round up the order quantity to the next highest nearby value so so this is how you can have the absolute control in terms of your order quantities so and the prompt will help the purchase executive to, to take appropriate action based on the multiple and minimum order quantity and maximum order quantity limitations and of course you can also define the standard order quantity so every time when the user adds the line system automatically populates the quantity to be ordered right so this is a fantastic option available in dynamics 365 and release products where you can use the default order settings to so that you can have minimal manual interventions in terms of uh, how much order quantity they want to place and every time when they make changes they will get a prompt saying that uh, the order quantity need to be modified so that the users will take informed decisions so this is an important topic which we saw today and uh, hope you enjoy the video and if you want to get regular updates please do follow my profile and hope to see you in another interesting topic tomorrow thank you